Hi, so I thought I'd have a look in the best tool battery as well. It's a 3.1 amp bar lithium ion. Um, so this is actually a an older version of the now current um, uh, best tool. I think they're called high power batteries now. So I was just interested to see the difference between this and one of the newer high power batteries, which I have ordered. Um, I believe the the newer battery is actually slightly wider, so they probably moved to a new cell inside it. Um, so these, I am assuming these are 18650s and the new ones are the 21700s, I believe is the, is the new term. But I was interested to see what um, what manufacturer of cell festival uses, as these are generally perceived to be a, um, a more expensive battery. Um, I think from memory this battery was about 80 pounds um, so for a 3.1 amp hour battery it is relatively expensive um, but of course it, it is part of what you need to buy when you're when you're when you're using the fill steel system um, so again with anything do try not to take batteries apart whenever they have a, a significant amount of charge in them so that's how we look at this one um, and again, Festival have changed the size again. I think this is a T10, a Torx T10 to take it apart. So, um, and thankfully there's only two fixings in it. So, two fairly long screws. this part and see okay so it actually okay so it splits half and half which is unlike a lot of the other batteries where um a, a lot of the batteries seem to to be the, the, the end of it just pulls off um but a few of them are going i think the, the bosch is quite similar to this one as well so let's take that off and have a look okay Let's look at the the shell first of all. So it's I assumed actually it was going to be the same part, just mirrored, but it's not. This, they're actually two different mouldings, which is a an expensive way of doing it. Um, you have a probably a tapered peg, very slight tapered peg on it, going going into a, a hole or a boss, um, and then these are just actually so these are spring loaded they're not okay so that they, 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 they're spring loaded the, the, the actual um spring in the inside of it presses against the side of the battery and, and um, well it doesn't complete the circuit it just allows it to it just allows it to come apart um so i wonder can we take these out because it is a separate molding. It's not obvious how that would come out. It's a snap design, I assume. So this pulls. Yeah. Okay. So that pulls down and, and snaps out of it. And again, these are actually noted left and right. I suppose for for manufacturing. So again, there's an, there's another tool needed, and there is no actual material specification on this but I'm sure it's the same as this so let's have a look at what this is let's see if you can see it PA6 glass fill 30 and a TPE which is this over molding so again this over molding is different then from the drills um, and from the multi-master which or sorry not the multi-master um the uh, <laughs> it's giving it away that it's fine of course uh no that it's not a multi it was the osc so how did that go in so this is just a wee lens and that's used to show the uh, the battery readout on the back of it so again there's another tool needed for this so maybe this shows the cost in the battery. Uh, it's probably probably polycarbonate more than likely. And it again it is frosted on the outside of it just to diffuse the 
um, the light from, yes, from the LED on it. Uh, and again then, again another tool, another part, again, a little bit of dirt on that, with a marking number two on it. I wonder if you know these, these are, so it's only the one side of it which is used to do that. Um, again, there are, there's no there's production mark there in it. And you can see here where the the sprue from the, the moulding machine would have come in. Probably two points, there's three, four points. Or, or they could, well actually, sorry, no, there's the break off from the sprue going into it. And then those two points there, and then these would be push off pins. Again, it stepped around the side again. 1907 marked onto it, maximum, maximum 50 degrees C. Right, that's very low. So that, that's not a specification of the material, because the you know, um, PA6 is nylon, of course, so the nylon will, will not, um, it will burn, but it won't melt or deform, I suppose, at, at, is it 50 or 60? I think it's 50 degrees, yeah. So it, it's a specification just from the actual battery housing itself, rather than the material. Um, and again, don't burn yet. So these are all related more to the actual the enclosure rather than or the the actual the enclosed rather than the enclosure. Um, again, it's quite nice the way that this is brought around, and you can see this has been used and dropped a few times and bumped, and it's 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 protected the the contents quite well. So that's the same just on this side of it. So let's have a look at the actual. And put that in there, the actual battery itself. So turn this around. So M U R A T A Murata. Yes, eighteen six fifty. Yes, so it is an eighteen six fifty. Now the green cells. Originally, the green cells were made by Sony, but um, possibly LG. I will put in the comment below. Just I'll, I'll put that that code into the into the computer and see what it comes out at. Um, I. But it is. You see, do not use outside of this battery pack. So it is made and specifically designed for this pack. Um, see, is there any other? Moldings on it. Okay, okay. So this is capped on tape, and it is branded right into this part. So this is a second. Right, that's an interesting method of doing it. And where is the circuit board? Ah, okay. So the circuit board is actually inside this part which is completely separate from the body Mo most other manufacturers actually they, they'll, they'll use the um they use the batteries themselves and, and the board will be we mounted directly onto onto the actual board onto the act yeah that's an interesting method of doing it it does take away, it, it, it does make, I suppose the, the, the battery is meant to be used and, and moved around, so um, it, it does remove the physical um, stiff connection, I suppose, between the two parts, and that this is the flexible connection with a, with a cable, which is probably better. Um, so the main, the main positive and well, positive and negative terminals are staked on and welded, which is interesting. And then you can see the way that these are are actually they're four point welded on with what looks like stainless steel. 
a lot of the other battery manufacturers, um, again, Bosch I mentioned earlier, because I have looked in one of uh, their, their batteries, their, their new Pocell, they seem to make a, a, a huge claim that they use um, copper uh, traces, um, well, brackets, I suppose, but they're, they're using the copper as a, as a, as a trace. And we can see there's so there is a there's a wire so there's a there's a there's a thermistor or heat sensitive fuse which will if the if the cell does does break then that will that will break the circuit going to it and there are these are these are these are glued on so that that that's not coming off um but this this cable Going to there, which is just a heat. Well, that's probably a takeoff for. Yeah, so there will be separate takeoffs for the for the power for the. Well, there will be separate for the charging for the takeoff of the for the, of the battery and then for the actual lights, just to see what the charge is. So you can set you can see a separate small cable going to each one of the battery ends. And those are tied in series. Is there a manufacturer? No, again, it's the same. I actually thought that they used LG batteries, but possibly not. Yeah, we can come. So there's PCABS, so that's polycarbonate. And PA66 glass fill 25. VOP, I haven't seen VOP written on a plastic before. But interested to see these are now i will compare these to another battery from another uh, drill um probably a bosch one in future and also to uh, another um another tool made by a company called still or still uh, depending on where you're from um and it will be interesting just to compare these i'll take this apart maybe when i'm doing that as well just to see the difference between the two of them but it will be a 36 volt battery um so yeah so as you would expect from a festival of a well-made battery now this is actually part of i put this together again um some of the newer um see does this say it on it it doesn't so some of the new batteries are, are called um airstream which is just to do with their charger and um they've actually a vent on the top of the battery which lets I'm not sure that I'll find out when I take the charger apart, but it either draws air through the battery and into the charger or pushes air from the charger through the battery just, just to cool it whenever they're charging it. And I assume that's what this setup is to allow it to do. Um, I, I, in the, the five or six amp hour batteries, the, the actual cells are staggered and they're, 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 they're gapped a little larger just to allow the air flow through them. Now these are gapped quite you know, there's two or three mil between each cell. A lot of the other cells, the, the butters are like touch, touching each other, um, or they're offset, or they're, you know, they're, 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 they're staggered slightly different, so that there is more surface area visible to air in this, so it will cool them down better. So let me go and do a bit of research just on these, and I'll come back to you, um, I'll put it in the, the comments below. Okay, thanks for that. So if you've watched other videos on the, on the channel, you've seen that um, I've um, had a look inside quite a few Festool products. Um, I plan to do this for a wide range of other manufacturers and um, eventually just compare them against each other. Um, so if you're enjoying these, please um, like uh, like the video and if you wouldn't mind subscribing um, and uh, we'll be able to let you know that whenever more, more come out. Um, I've tabled quite a few uh, future videos that I want to complete. Um, and uh, roll those out hopefully once a week um, is, is the plan for the next few months anyway and we'll see how this progresses.
Okay, thanks.